Hello folks, welcome back to Path Bar School. Today's session we're going to be looking at how to infuse alcohols, specifically looking at the use of the vacuum pack machine and the sous vide. Now there's many ways to infuse alcohol, but this particular technique makes sure there's no yield loss, it cooks over a lengthy period of time at low temperatures, rather than cooking quickly at high temperatures. There are many advantages to this, and today we're going to be using the beautiful Rinomato Bitter Scuro. We're actually going to infuse it with acidic and sweet pineapple, and that's going to extract a few things from the pineapple itself, and we're going to build a drink called a Shakerato around it. So let's get to it. I'm going to introduce you first to the equipment, then we're going to look at how it's used, and then we'll get to making our drink. So our final cocktail is actually only going to have one ingredient, and that's the Rinomato Bitter Scuro infused with fresh pineapple. So I've gone to the effort of slicing up half a pineapple, taking off the skin and placing it into a vacuum pack bag. This vacuum pack bag is going to be sealed at the top, so it has no oxygen in it. It's then going to be put into our sous vide bath. That's a constant water bath at anywhere between 65 and 85 degrees. We're going to leave it in there for an hour, maybe two, while all the cellulose and all the fruit breaks down and is infused into the Rinomato Bitter Scuro. So now we've got our fresh pineapple, we've now got our Rinomato Bitter Scuro in the bag. We're going to go over to the vacuum pack machine and seal it up. So what I'm going to do is go to the effort of squeezing out as much air as possible from the bag before we start. I'm going to lie it down flat, giving just enough room for things to expand once the vacuum in the chamber is, uh, is secure. I'm going to put the lid down, and then I'm going to press go. So the vacuum chamber has compressed the liquid inside, and it's heated the top so it's nicely sealed. The proof of the pudding is when you get to turn the bag upside down and make sure no liquid actually comes out. We're now going to put this into our sous vide and cook it nice and thoroughly. So what I'm going to do is turn the machine on, get it up to the correct temperature and let that water temperature build up before I put our Rinomato and pineapple mixture in there. So now as you can see, the bag has been in the sous vide for a few hours, we've let it cool down, we've cut a little slit in the top, and we're going to actually just pour it through a fine mesh strainer, just to get rid of any sediment. Then we can go ahead and make our Shakerado cocktail. All that pineapple has broken down and is now infused into the liquid. So now we've got our beautiful Rinomato Bitter Scuro infused with acidic, bright, sweet pineapple. We can now get it into a tin, shake it up and make it into a Shakerado style cocktail. It's a super easy drink to make. All we're going to do is take our pre-prepped ingredient, add 90 mils into a shaker and then shake with fresh ice. Of course, we need to chill our glass down first, which is what we're going to do next. I'm going to take a glass like this, we're going to serve it up. This drink's gonna be super simple. It's not gonna contain any garnish, it's just gonna go into a beautiful glass. The key to this is giving it a good, hard shake. What we've done as we've sous vide is break down that pineapple into the alcohol. When we've shaken it, we've aerated it. We've given it a nice, thick foam for the top. It's gonna to give it a beautiful texture and a fantastically bright, almost violet red hue. This is our classic twist on the Shakerato cocktail with Rinomato Bitter Scuro. Tart, refreshing, bright, bitter, balanced, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, the Shakerato.